Okay, I got the software running now, and some few things I want to point out. I, I try to make this uh, multi deck select. Or if, if you hold your recall, you can see this light is on. That lets you know you're on deck A. Let's push this button. This means you're on deck B. This and C, and that one right there is D. So let's go ahead and select A. We can, we can turn A. Okay. Let's go over here to C. See, we can. I got it on search. We can move C. Alright. Let's go to D. Let's go ahead and play D. Send a loop. Take your loop out. While that's playing, we can switch over and go to B. And say you want to sync. Um, hold record. Hit the pitch. And then we got that sync. Let's see what else uh, feature do I have on here. Uh, you hold record and push the uh, pitch bin. You can uh, beat jump by the loop point. Let's hit that re loop. Um, see got some more features on here I got uh, I got uh, the uh, different loops I mean different different key points which I may have already showed you on a video before but uh, another thing is when we hold uh, recall and select our deck it selects us to a certain deck and it takes us also to the corresponding uh, fence. I don't know why we ain't got no effects right now. Might help if we change the effect. That would be reset on a group on the uh, single on a single uh, you know on a single uh, fag unit. Okay, I need to get that mouse out of the way. Okay, go and take our loop out. I don't know if you can hear that. So yeah, reverse locks the uh, the effect on for a single uh, for a single effect. Then you can turn the effect with the uh, perimeter knob.
press the effect on. Press the button again. Allows you to go to uh, where the shape is and change it. But if you press the uh, FX button, it cuts uh, the last two effects on together. Now, get in the middle section, you press the FX, it just cuts that one on. That keeps you from accidentally hitting reset. Reset is just right there. Let's say you want to go from uh, you want to go from a single slot to a multi slot. You hold your record. That's a shift, and you hit the up on the uh, where the bleep is. Hold the camera, set the camera down for that. Alright, there you go. So now if you want to... Uh, to control this. The up button cuts them all on at one time. This is your wet and dry. And what this will do, This will change your effect to which, uh, which one you're selected with the, the knob here. You can change the amount of it. Do all that. But this button right here will cut it on. But uh, this main thing is this is a corresponding effect with the corresponding unit. You hold the time button, you will see uh, that light lit it up right there, showing you that uh, your own effects unit two. Now this will be effects unit uh, one. This will be effects unit three, and this will be effects unit four. So therefore, after you select a track, you can select a different. You can select a different. Uh, yeah, you can select a different uh, effect panel. All right, but if you hold the program, you see you got these four lights lit. That means you have. Effects unit one on for this deck. Effects unit uh, three, two, and four. But you can hold them down and change them. But the only problem I have right now is I'm trying to figure out how to uh, set these uh, knobs a little bit better. Because if I turn this knob and select the track, it's going about four times as much. In other words, I need to go in there and cut three of them off on uh, the different uh, parts that I, I use to make this. And the mode button is basically the same thing. It's uh, supposed to switch back and forth between. There it goes. Working all right. 
And I think I might need to edit this this uh, knob too because I think it might be turning too much. And I'll try to get that done and come back and finish the video.